Yo peeps, it's Triple L and welcome to this video, a uh, what am I going to be watching or what am I going to be covering on this channel for the next season of anime. Um, I know there's quite a few anime watchers in the subscriber audience, so you know this video is pretty much for you guys just to let you know what I'm planning on doing in this for the channel for the new year and also, I, did I say it already? But whatever. Happy New Year's! Anyway, um, new season of anime is upon us, so I decided to do something that a lot of other anime uh, tubers do, and that's just go through the anime list and tell you which I'm going to cover. And actually, I've already decided on one for sure that I'm covering, and if you know what it is, or you could guess what it is, uh, leave it down below in the comment, or let me know if you guessed right. Anyway, uh, let's just go through the list. I've looked at the list a few times, and what I'm actually really surprised about is that quite a few of the adaptations this I guess season are video games like this one for instance Akiba Akiba's trip. Actually, oh frick! I didn't notice it was Akiba's trip. I don't know that much about the game. Well, actually, I know about the game, but I've never played it. Is that good? Is this a good? Is this good? Does anyone know? Anyway, not the point. This isn't a video where I'm gonna ask you guys for recommendations, but you guys can leave the recommendations down below. Anyway, into the video. So, just looking through these first six, let's say this one's seems interesting mostly because i'm just judging it on the cover art pretty much but uh, i haven't read anything about it um i'm not going to i'm just gonna be pleasantly surprised but this looks interesting so far anyway uh i'm not into this i'm not sure about that i only ever read the manga i don't really follow the anime not sure about that chaos child i watched chaos head back in the day i'm not gonna get back into this it's not worth it for me. Fuka, I'm aware of the manga. This one looks adorable. This is... Nope. You know, this is just going to be me saying a lot of nopes until we get to the one I'm actually going to cover. And then season of Gintama, I appreciate Gintama. I follow the manga. I don't really follow the anime. It'll be probably more of a thing I do just on the side. Handshakers, leave it to Japan to actually make handshaking epic. That's pretty much what they're doing in this particular uh, anime. You know, it seems interesting, right? Like, it's handshakes and also that handshakes that somehow give you the power to exceed gods. No, but, you know, it, it gives you the power to, like, deal with god-level shit and all that. Anyway, it, no, it seems really interesting, but I'm not really sure how well it'll do. It might be one of those high concepts that just f falls apart. Um, anyway, another video game adaptation, not into it. But, guys, again, if there's, like, actually something that I'm missing, let me know in the comments. Um, not into it. Another video game adaptation, a manga adaptation, not a big deal. And here we go, Konosuba. This is the one that I am definitely, definitely going to cover on the channel. Um, I love Konosuba the first season, and I've actually, unfortunately, have already spoiled myself to the ending of Konosuba. Um, unfortunately, the light novel that it's adapted from had ended quite a while ago, and so I did go and I read I read the, the spoilers. I know how it all ends. I would not recommend going on TV Tropes. Don't go on TV Tropes because they have the ending somewhere on TV Tropes in its page. Don't don't spoil yourself on the ending. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to talk about this particular show because comedy is subjective. But, you know, Konosuba is something that's really neat. And personally, you know, I'm very into like the relationships, relationships between the characters. And so, I'm, I'm going in for it. Like, for me, Kazuma and Darkness, that's that's where it's at. Anyway, Konosuba, it is definitely going to be covered. I'm excited to cover it. Um, let me know if you guys like Konosuba. Moving on, a manga adaptation. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Or bathed in envious gazes from all around as a beautiful couple. Oh, this is the a couple. They are just together just to hide the fact that they like other people. You know, it sounds interesting. I'm going to wait and see... What people say about the adaptation before jumping into this one and then we got triggers new show uh little witch academia okay so trigger trigger is a very interesting studio they have quite a few animes behind them i actually have them already on the other side for trigger i just want to tell you guys um just so you guys know more about my taste in anime uh everyone knows trigger for kill the kill so it's a relative mark of quality that triggers making Little Witch Academia. And I heard very good things about the original movie. It was like 20 minutes, I think. Anyway, I heard very good things about it. But when it comes to Trigger, 
My favorite shows from Studio Trigger are Kiznaiver or Kiznaiver. And then, and then when Supernatural Battles became commonplace, I believe that's the English title, this one right over here. Now, the thing with this one is that it is a gigantic troll. This show will troll you on so many different ways. But I enjoyed it. It was a more slice of life show and it worked for me. You know, I like my slice of life. That's why I like Kiss Naiver and this one. And I appreciated it very much. So because of that, and also because of the fame of Kill a Kill, you know, I like Kill a Kill too, but I like Kiz Naiver and this one way more. That's just me. Anyway, I'm definitely going to check out my little, uh, sorry, Little Witch Academia, I think. I think it's a worthwhile show. And I, the fact that it's Trigger that's doing it, I think if you're a Trigger fan, you should definitely give it a shot. Maybe like three episodes. I'm not sure if I'll cover it on the channel though. Probably not. My schedule is pretty busy. Anyway, moving on. This one is interesting. It's as an overweight child, this guy was mercilessly teased and bullied by one particular girl. This girl determined one day to exact his revenge upon her. He begins a reg rigorous regime. Oh, gee, where's my where's my reading skills? A rigorous regimen of self improvement and personal transformation. Years later, he reemerges as. A new man, handsome, popular, with perfect grades, and good at sports. Okay, so, you know, that's interesting and all, it's coming from a manga, but I'm pretty sure I've seen a similar plot in a random movie, most likely with Ryan Reynolds in it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't, I, I, it, the, the summary just gets my attention, but I don't think I'm watching it. Uh, if it's funny. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Move, wait, has anyone ever re read the manga? Is it worthwhile? Okay, you know what? Not the point. Moving on. Nothing here that I really find interesting. Second season, so I can't really watch that. I don't have any interest in rewrite. Another video game adaptation coming from Square Enix. I don't think Square's been doing really good with their video game adaptations, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, Seiren, it's an original. Oh, if it's a romance, I might go for it. Oh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if I'll cover that one either. Moving on, Super Lovers, nope. Tales of Dysteria, I tried to cover that, but it was really boring at the beginning and I dropped off. That was unfortunate. This one, nope. This one, nope. This one, nope. This one, now there is a reason we went all the way to the bottom of this list. This is by the person who made um, Hitman Reborn. And so I want to pay respect to it and I want to watch it and enjoy it, ideally. Unfortunately, though, I have no idea how slow this particular series is going to be. And also, it's Studio Periot who are making it. And that's not usually a good sign. I am kind of concerned. This is going to be kind of fun. I want to see what the artist has done since her days with Reborn. And you can really tell this is Reborn. Like, look at this guy right here. Total, total like, copy of Reborn. And this guy looks like Suna, like at least in the eyes. Anyway, I'm interested in it. I'm interested. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I want to watch it. And then there's the Fall Leftovers. We all know I'm covering Gundam. And man, Gundam's been fun. It's been so fun. I think this might be like one of my favorite Gundam series. Top three for sure. Yeah, actually top three. It, it beat out G Gundam. And G Gundam was, what was up there. Anyway, moving on. Let's see if there's any cool movies. There we go. Digimon. I'm a Digimon fan. I grew up with it. I'm pretty excited to see it. I think the Digimon movies have been pretty slow, however. But this is what being a fan is. I'm going to keep watching it. I want to see what happens to the characters. And, you know, I do think that the movies are very flawed. But we could never have gotten this. That, that was the alternative. It's either we get these movies or we don't. And I'm very happy we got the movies. So I'm maybe I'll talk about it when it comes out. Um, yeah, nothing else. To, a Trinity 7 movie. Maybe. Uh, no, I probably won't bother. Nope. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, the series that you can be certain that it's going to be popping up on the channel is definitely Konosuba. And depending on how fun the other series are that I talked about, whether it be EID Live or whether it be Little Witch Academia, um, they might pop up on the channel if they have something interesting. And also, I will be watching the Pokemon anime as it continues. Um, whether or not I cover it religiously really depends on the week. 
Anyway, guys, let me know what you want to watch this particular season of anime. And let me know if there's anything here that's actually going to be way better than it sounds. Yeah, let me know. Anyway, till next time. I hope you have a great day. Oh, and let me know if this style of video is okay. Otherwise, I will improve in the future.